Astroecology concerns the interactions of biota with space environments. It studies resources for life on planets, asteroids and comets, around various stars, in galaxies, and in the universe. The results allow estimating the future prospects for life, from planetary to galactic and cosmological scales, available energy, and microgravity, radiation, pressure and temperature are physical factors that affect astroecology. The ways by which life can reach space environments, including natural panspermia and directed panspermia are also considered. Further, for human expansion in space and directed panspermia, motivation by life-centered biotic ethics, panbiotic ethics and planetary bioethics are also relevant. Topic. Overview The term, astroecology, was first applied in the context of performing studies in actual meteorites to evaluate their potential resources favorable to sustaining life. Early results showed that meteorite, asteroid materials can support microorganisms, algae and plant cultures under Earth's atmosphere and supplemented with water. Several observations suggest that diverse planetary materials, similar to meteorites collected on Earth, could be used as agricultural soils, as they provide nutrients to support microscopic life when supplemented with water and an atmosphere. Experimental astroecology has been proposed to rate planetary materials as targets for astrobiology exploration and as potential biological in situ resources. The biological fertilities of planetary materials can be assessed by measuring water extractable electrolyte nutrients. The results suggest that carbonaceous asteroids and Martian basalts can serve as potential future resources for substantial biological populations in the solar system. Analysis of the essential nutrients C, N, P, K in meteorites yielded information for calculating the amount of biomass that can be constructed from asteroid resources. For example, carbonaceous asteroids are estimated to contain about 1,022 kg potential resource materials, and laboratory results suggest that they could yield a biomass on the order of 6 1,020 kg, about 100,000 times more than biological matter presently on Earth. <laughs> Cultures on simulated asteroid – meteorite materials To quantify the potential amounts of life in biospheres, theoretical astroecology attempts to estimate the amount of biomass over the duration of a biosphere. The resources, and the potential time integrated biomass were estimated for planetary systems, for habitable zones around stars, and for the galaxy and the universe. Such astroecology calculations suggest that the limiting elements nitrogen and phosphorus in the estimated 1,022 kg carbonaceous asteroids could support 6 1,020 kg biomass for the expected 5 billion future years of the Sun, yielding a future time integrated biota, biota biomass integrated over times available, measured in kilogram years of 3 1030 kg years in the Solar System, 100,000 times more than life on Earth to date. Considering biological requirements of 100 W kg minus 1 biomass, radiated energy about red giant stars and white and red dwarf stars could support a time integrated biota up to 1046 kg years in the galaxy and 1057 kg years in the universe. Such astroecology considerations quantify the immense potentials of future life in space, with commensurate biodiversity and possibly intelligence. Chemical analysis of carbonaceous chondrite meteorites show that they contain extractable bioavailable water, organic carbon, and essential phosphate, nitrate and potassium nutrients. The results allow assessing the soil fertilities of the parent asteroids and planets, and the amounts of biomass that they can sustain. Laboratory experiments showed that material from the Murchison meteorite, when ground into a fine powder and combined with Earth's water and air, can provide the nutrients to support a variety of organisms, including bacteria, nocardia asteroids, algae, and plant cultures such as potato and asparagus. The microorganisms used organics in the carbonaceous meteorites as the carbon source. Algae and plant cultures grew well also on Mars meteorites because of their high bioavailable phosphate contents. The Martian materials achieved soil fertility ratings comparable to productive agricultural soils. This offers some data relating to terraforming of Mars. Terrestrial analogs of planetary materials are also used in such experiments for comparison, and to test the effects of space conditions on microorganisms. The biomass that can be constructed from resources can be calculated by comparing the concentration of elements in the resource materials and in biomass. Equation 1. 
A given mass of resource materials M resource can support M biomass, X of biomass containing element X considering X as the limiting nutrient, where cresource, X is the concentration mass per unit mass of element X in the resource material and C biomass, X is its concentration in the biomass. M B I O M A S S X equals M R E S O U R C E X C R E S O U R C E X C B I O M A S S X Display style M underscore biomass, X equals M underscore resource, X frac C underscore resource, X C underscore biomass, X one Assuming that 100,000 kg biomass supports one human, the asteroids may then sustain about 6 e 15 6 million billion people, equal to a million Earths a million times the present population. Similar materials in the comets could support biomass and populations about 100 times larger. Solar energy can sustain these populations for the predicted further 5 billion years of the Sun. These considerations yield a maximum time integrated biota of 3 times 10 to the 30 kg years in the solar system. After the Sun becomes a white dwarf star, and other white dwarf stars, can provide energy for life much longer, for trillions of eons. Table 2 <laughs> Effects of wastage Astroecology also concerns wastage, such as the leakage of biological matter into space. This will cause an exponential decay of space-based biomass as given by equation 2, where m biomass zero is the mass of the original biomass, k is its rate of decay the fraction lost in a unit time and biomass t is the remaining biomass after time t. Equation 2 m b i o m a S S T equals M B I O M A S S zero E minus K T Display style M underscore biomass T equals M underscore biomass zero E carrot K T Integration from time zero to infinity yields equation three for the total time integrated biomass biota contributed by this biomass. Equation three B I O T A equals M B I O M A S S zero K display style biota equals frac m underscore biomass zero k. For example, if 0.01 percent of the biomass is lost per year, then the time integrated biota will be 10,000 m b i o m a s s zero display style m underscore biomass zero. For the 6 1,020 kg biomass constructed from asteroid resources, this yields 6 1024 kg years of biota in the solar system. Even with this small rate of loss, life in the solar system would disappear in a few hundred thousand years, and the potential total time integrated biota of 3 1030 kg years under the main sequence sun would decrease by a factor of 5 105, although a still substantial population of 1.2-1012 biomass supported humans could exist through the habitable lifespan of the sun. The integrated biomass can be maximized by minimizing its rate of dissipation. If this rate can be reduced sufficiently, all the constructed biomass can last for the duration of the habitat and it pays to construct the biomass as fast as possible. 
However, if the rate of dissipation is significant, the construction rate of the biomass and its steady state amounts may be reduced allowing a steady state biomass and population that lasts throughout the lifetime of the habitat. An issue that arises is whether we should build immense amounts of life that decays fast, or smaller, but still large, populations that last longer. Life-centered biotic ethics suggests that life should last as long as possible. Topic: Galactic ecology. If life reaches galactic proportions, technology should be able to access all of the material's resources, and sustainable life will be defined by the available energy. The maximum amount of biomass about any star is then determined by the energy requirements of the biomass and by the luminosity of the star. For example, if one kilogram biomass needs 100 watts, we can calculate the steady state amounts of biomass that can be sustained by stars with various energy outputs. These amounts are multiplied by the lifetime of the star to calculate the time integrated biota over the lifetime of the star. Using similar projections, the potential amounts of future life can then be quantified. For the solar system from its origins to the present, the current 1,015 kg biomass over the past 4 billion years gives a time integrated biomass of 4 1024 kg years. In comparison, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and water in the 1,022 kg asteroids allows 6 1,020 kg biomass that can be sustained with energy for the 5 billion future years of the Sun, giving a biota of 3 1030 kg years in the Solar System and 3 1039 kg years about 1011 stars in the galaxy. Materials in comets could give biomass and time integrated biota a hundred times larger. The Sun will then become a white dwarf star, radiating 1015 watts that sustains 1 times 10 to the 13 kg biomass for an immense 100 million trillion 1020 years, contributing a time integrated biota of 1033 years. The 1012 white dwarfs that may exist in the galaxy during this time can then contribute a time integrated biota of 1045 kg years. Red dwarf stars with luminosities of 1023 watts and lifetimes of 1013 years can contribute 1034 kg years each, and 1012 red dwarfs can contribute 1046 kg years, while brown dwarfs can contribute 1039 kg years of time integrated biomass biota in the galaxy. In total, the energy output of stars during 1020 years can sustain a time integrated biomass of about 1045 kg years in the galaxy. This is 1 billion trillion 1020 times more life than has existed on the Earth to date. In the universe, stars in 1011 galaxies could then sustain 1057 kg years of life. <laughs> <laughs> Directed panspermia The astroecology results above suggest that humans can expand life in the galaxy through space travel or directed panspermia. The amounts of possible life that can be established in the galaxy, as projected by astroecology, are immense. These projections are based on information about 15 billion past years since the Big Bang, but the habitable future is much longer, spanning trillions of eons. Therefore, physics, astroecology resources, and some cosmological scenarios may allow organized life to last, albeit at an ever-slowing rate, indefinitely. These prospects may be addressed by the long-term extension of astroecology as cosmoecology. See also Biotic ethics Cosmology Meteorites